Hi guys. Oh, Pete's throwing his stuff in the back seat. The door wouldn't unlock. It does that all the time. I hit the button about 20 times. Finally it'll unlock. Uh, let's see. There it is outside. Got a couple more inches last night. And they're calling for three to seven inches here today. Um, over by my mom, one to two inches. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to put it in auto four-wheel drive because that's the way to go. And uh, my mom's care meeting is at 1 o'clock and it's quarter to 11. It takes under an hour to get there, but with the weather and stuff, I'm leaving early. Earlier, so. <sighs> Forgot my hat. Oh, well. It does, it's uh, 34 outside, but it feels really mild out. It does not feel 34. In fact, I'm wearing my you know my Carhartt coat and it is just too warm so anyway we're on our way and I'll see you later bye you want to say hi to Gwen yeah say hi Gwen that's my guy daughter that is your daughter you're right oh yeah hi Gwen <laughs> yep Big smile. That's where we are. We're the only ones here. It's probably about, I don't know, 2.30, 3 o'clock. Am I close? Five after three. Five after three. It's got lots of seafood, vegetables. I have pork and eggs and onions and mushrooms and spinach and uh, put rice in it. I have spicy. Sweet and spicy plum sauce. We got water to drink. Usually we get coffee, but or tea. But we're gonna be going across the street to go home soon and we got coffee there and tea, so why pay for it here? So here we are. Our favorite cooker guys cooking. So I'm gonna get back to my lunch and I'll see you later. Hi guys, it is about 5.27, I'm going to say. Pete and I have been... Oh, the fan went off. Yay. Pete and I have been busy today. Uh, we did go see my mom. I did record... Um, I did record a clip with my mom to put in here. But one of the other people um, that lives there kept walking through the... And I don't know how to blur out somebody's face. So, I'm not going to show it. But, something that made me extremely happy today. Well, today was her care conference, her quarterly care conference. And that went extremely well. She's gaining some weight. She's up to 104. Um, but she's on all these nutrition shakes because she doesn't like to eat. She just doesn't like to eat anymore. So, But the cool thing, this is really great. The last few times Pete and I have gone there, she has been um, not only uh, sleeping a lot. It, that was something I was going to ask about her meds, like if, if she's sleeping a lot, if your meds need adjustment or whatever. But um, when she talks, she can't communicate. Why is that flashing? Can you see that flashing? I don't know. But when she talks, it's just, ah, 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 like, I don't know what it is, but she can't, but she'll talk like she, either she thinks she's saying something or she's trying to communicate something that makes sense to her, but not to anybody else. And then she gets frustrated. So that's all we've really seen. Every so often there would be a word or a couple words or one phrase might happen. But that those have been few and far between. The last few months, that's the way it's been. Either she was sleeping when we were there, or she could not communicate anyway, for the most part. Um, and so it's been sad watching her decline to that degree. And today she said, I love you, honey. And she said my name a couple times, even though I didn't cue her or anything. Um, so today was a really good day. 
Then we're on our way back, and our um, car has been making a rattling noise for a couple weeks. Don't know what it was, where it came from, but it drives okay. The mileage is steady, you know, because I always keep track of the mileage. My dad taught me many years ago that your mileage, your average mileage will change if something big is wrong with the car. So I always keep track of that. But it got better a few weeks ago, about the same time this started. Um, I We used to get about 14 or 15 miles to the gallon. Now we're getting 18 to 20, so that's considerable. But it made this rattling noise, and we kind of, I don't know what it is. Pete looked under there, didn't know what was loose, but drove okay, no problem. So then today, it's got like a lot worse from than rattling. Um, it was like thudding and thumping and hard to, you know, hard to get acceleration. It was like dragging and all this. And so I pulled over and Pete looked under there and he said, it's the left rear brake. But it made it back here and then it would get better all of a sudden and it would drive fine and then whatever. But he said the brake shoe or something was loose and rattling around in there and it was catching and I don't know what. But God got us home safely. So um, we just went to the restaurant across the street that we like for lunch, and uh, which is cheaper than dinner. And then we, uh, you know, just came back here. Um, I still need a haircut desperately. Desperately. It's snowing again. Great big fat flakes. So we're supposed to get, like I said, three to seven. Excuse me, that was a hiccup. Three to seven today and tonight so and it started and it's great big flakes and it's very pretty so i'm just going to say goodbye and uh you know i guess i'll see you next time i hope you guys all have a fantastic friday and i hope your uh week has gone well and next time there's something to share i'll share it so meanwhile take care god bless and good night